InkProducts.com has just released their new Executive 2 series Constant Ink Flow System for the Epson the NX430. What you want to do is bring the cartridges over. And as soon as they come over, you want to unplug the printer. Now the printer's unplugged. Now you can remove the Epson cartridges. Now this is our new Executive 2 constant ink flow system. We've installed these new dampers to keep constant ink flow to the Epson printhead. Now when it's moved over like this, we're going to put in the cartridges. We're going to snap them in. Now on the NX430 and some of the models, they just don't want to snap down that good. So I'm going to show you a simple way to get them to lock in. Now if they don't lock in, you're going to get, cannot recognize the cartridges. So this is the little tab back here. Just push with the screwdriver. And here, click in. Not going to break anything. Goes right in. There you go. Now the hardest one is the one right here, so I, I get really high up. There, that locks it right in. Okay, now we're going to put the hose bracket, but first I'm going to slide a complete assembly all the way over. Now the hose bracket is going to go right here on the ledge. Okay, now slide cartridge assembly all the way over. Now we're going to tape it down to get the proper hose travel. We're not going to peel and stick it yet. We use a little piece of tape. It's going to hold it. I'm going to put the hose in there and we're going to do hose travel back and forth. Okay, now I taped it down about two inches from the edge to the edge of that. That's what I'm starting with. So that's why I just use tape. So I want to tape it down permanently. It's about two inches. Now I'll put the hose into the hose bracket, and I'm going to go back and forth. And now I got to tape down approximately two inches. I'm going to slowly go the hose up like this. And I'm going to slowly push it over. I just want to know. That's perfect. Now you can mark the area, you know, and then peel and stick that bracket down. Okay, now I peel, I stuck that hose bracket down. Now I see if it goes back and forth. Not any problem. And I could take up a little slack. Okay, now I'm going to angle a hose so it comes out here. So I'm going to put the one hose bracket right here to hold it. So it's going to cut a little bit of angle, come out, then it's not going to be pinched by the cover. That's the way it's going to be. So I'll install the other one right about here. Okay, now I put down the, the other hose bracket, I'll be able to close the lid. Okay, now we're going to plug it in and turn it on. But before we do that, we're going to do one thing. We're going to balance the isobaric chamber and roll it like this. Stand it up. Now you'll be able to open it up. And then when you open it up, you're going to pull out the little small plugs. That is protected from any dust or too much light. So now you go in and you'll remove the little back plug. Follow the instructions that we give you because there's sometimes there's a change or an update. Now you're able to close it. Just want to show you this is something new. And the reason why we're using them is because we find out that sometimes ink because the bottles might be a little lower, 
will come back into the bottles or people lift them, whatever. We, we've done a lot of testing and all our systems now use them. And then you just watch your ink levels here go down. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in and turn it on. Okay, now we've turned it on. And we're going to watch the cartridges go back and forth. Make sure we don't have too much hose. Or if there's not enough, you'll get an error code. Okay, now if it's installed correctly, it'll go into the charge. Now, if it's installed correctly, you're going to say, charging ink, please wait. If you get cannot recognize the cartridges, that means they're not in. So give it a minute or two. It's going to charge up. You can close the lid. And that's how simple it is to install it. We use the latest chip, the latest combo chip. Now we just put this system in and it's already recognized our, our chips because we're using the latest chips available on the market today. As soon as a new chip comes out, we add it to our systems. This is, this right here is used on the large, extra large format printer. And we've incorporated it into the constant ink flow system that we make. Let's see, it protects that from dust. The light can't get at the ink. And now we're ready to make a copy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is run a nozzle check. I go to Tools, say OK. I don't. I'm going to go to Maintenance, go to OK. Nozzle check, OK. And then switch. And that looks really good. That's how simple and easy it was to set it up.